Right, Corrigan. Need a job. You're a man with imminent responsibilities. So, really quick look at Facebook and a tiny bit of YouTube, and then I'll get a CV off to the loss adjusters. Shit. Where's the were? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Why didn't I back up? I'm exactly the kind of person who backs up. Thank God I abandoned business secrets of the pharaohs. Hey. Bloody computer's dead. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's really dreadful for you. Oh, come here. Ugh. Hugging? Poor you. Are you OK? Is this ecstasy? You're not getting into ecstasy again, are you? I'm in love, Mark, with amazing Elena. I don't want to tempt fate, but I think everything's going to be totally great forever. I'm pleased for you. <laughs> you don't understand, Mark. I've realised that everything is just a substitute for being in love. Reading, running in the Olympics, getting a job, being a doctor. And I don't need those substitutes anymore. Elena is my one true soulmate. It's remarkable, isn't it, that out of the three billion adult women in the world, your one true soulmate happens conveniently to live in the same block of flats as you, rather than, say, in a village in Mozambique. Who knows how these things happen? There are powers at work beyond our understanding. No, there aren't. What was it Shakespeare said? He said a lot of things, Jeremy. He basically said something about how there are more things there than there are actual things that you can see with your eyes. That's not the exact quote. Isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to tell Elena that I love her over dinner tonight. Why take the risk? She might not say it back. Why do you have to bring worry and doubt into everything? You're like some kind of mad evangelist for anxiety. Lots to go round, old son. I'm probably a couple of grams lighter now.